Hi everyone, uh, good morning on uh, Saturday, Geeks 15, uh, just uh, uh, getting my computer organised and I'll be with you in a second. Morning. <laughs> Still got that silly cough. Okie doke. I want to be able to see what you're seeing, so bear with me. There we go. Okie doke. So good morning. This morning we're going to have a look at the faux frolly tote. Faux frolly tote. Um, this is a tote that I made and made some kits up for. Now I do have... Hi Maya, hi Yvonne, Liz, Naomi, g'day everyone. Um, this will come up on uh, YouTube as well. Once it's uh, downloaded, I'll download it up. G'day Elaine. Um, and uh, this is one of the kits and I've just picked out the green one. And um, at the end of the video, I'll go through the ones that I've got left um, other than making up more. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> the kits are $50 each. And they have vegan leather in them, which is vinyl. Um, it comes with everything pre-cut in its size. The only thing I've had to add in is some... That's the um, stabiliser for the pocket. And this one is for the handles. So that's the only thing. Um, and, of course, zippers. Everything else is pretty much in there. So let's go have a look at the instructions because um, this is part one. So it's going to go over till tomorrow to tomorrow as well. Um, uh, I need facing on to the back of the front, bottom and back in a pocket fabric. So the first thing to do is actually do the ironing bits. So now the, the one for the handles I have doesn't have iron on. So I'm using the tape. I'm using that... Um, um, adhesive, what's it called, wash away tape. So I'm going to use that to hold it down. And this is the pocket for the inside so that I'm going to iron on. I'm going to pop everything else aside. That's the zipper tags. If you want to use them, I'll decide as I go whether I really care or not. So <laughs> I put them in anyway. That's your front pocket. We'll pop the zipper on next. And uh, that is your bottom of your bag or your, you know, your... Um, yeah, your bottom of your bag, and that's your front of your bag, front and back. So I'm going to pop these aside, and let's do these things first. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I, you're going to have to excuse that cough. I cannot get rid of it for the life of me. Um, and I'm just going to, we're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> So I'm just ironing the fabric first. I place the fabric on top and line her up, sort of centre-ish. <clears throat> and just iron it on. Hi Liz and Liz and Deb. G'day everyone. Chris, good morning. Um, so I'm just going to iron that on. Make sure she's on. Uh, if it's not right up to the edges like I've got, because this was just a spare piece that I had, don't sort of stress over it because um, that's going to go in the seams anyway and it'll only bulk up the seams. So if it's a little bit shorter, who cares? That's that one ready to go. Let me pop that aside. Now this one is the handles. I'm just going to give them a quick press. They'll be roughly four inches wide. And the beauty of these kits is everything's cut for you. A lot of you have purchased them and I thought, well, Gix is a perfect time with Craft Alive crew to actually do a, a couple of little demos because we've got four days of classes and fun. So, um, and I like batiks, as you know, because they don't fray and carry on like some fabrics. Now, like I said, this is not iron-on. So, here's my alternative. I grabbed this wash-away tape. that has got a bit of fluff on it, so I'm just going to trim that off because it's not going to stick. 
Hi Susan. And I'm going to run, not in my seam, that, it doesn't matter if it is, it's just that it'll bulk up the seam. So I'm going to run it just probably a little bit in, just down. These rolls are only $8 and I think there's like something ridiculous like that. I find sometimes if they're not sticky enough, I just go along and um, get the iron and heat up the glue and it sticks perfectly fine. <clears throat> so one on that side and I'll go one on the other. So this is my alternative if I find I can't stick something down because I don't have, have an adhesive one. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. I do have plenty of um, the interfacing, sewing interfacing. Um, I think it's $7 a, a metre. It's about one, oh, about a metre 20 or metres 15 tall. <clears throat> so I'm going to might as well do that to the second one. While I'm here, and then I'll heat them up. My cat scratched me last night playing with me, so now I've got a, 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 a oopsie, a, a boo boo on my hand. <laughs> so, this tape I'll also use with my zipper. It's amazing, magic stuff for zippers, magic. <clears throat> don't know what I did actually you know what I did before I had this tape with zippers I didn't do zippers that was as simple as that <laughs> I just went nah too hard not doing it it's velcro <laughs> it's a button I can do a button zippers are too hard if I have to try and pin and zip and sew in three four times and I went nah not doing it And zippers have always been that one thing because you work sort of almost reverse way you know in a reverse method I suppose you always sort of you know hurt my brain so I'm going to turn that over and I'm just going to heat up that glue and make it stick down if you get a little pucker or anything like that just sort of pull it out come out but it will make that glue stick to the back of that fabric beautifully it's one Glad you found your smaller scissors today. <laughs> I know, I always end up using those monsters, don't I? Don't know what it is. I think they're just, because they're so big, I see them and I go, yeah, that'll do. And they're easy to find because <laughs> they are so big. <clears throat> So just a quick heat up and that'll stop it from coming off with the paper and it means you can lift that off. Simples. There she is. This is one and two and while it's still there. Now this uh, wasn't quite as long as the handle so I'm just going to add a little bit on the end. So that can go on there and just because it's already sort of tacky from the heat it'll just sit on there let's try and line it up so best you can <clears throat> if it sticks out and goes across you know sideways don't stress over it's no biggie just trim it off it'll go in the seam anyway I'm just going to overlap that a bit no, just going to butter up Okay, I'm just going to trim that off there. And then 
We could turn her back over and give her another quick one with the iron. It helps it stick again. A little bit fiddlier, but it means that now I don't have to worry about that coming off as I'm using it. So it will stick. So, see? Stickies. Nice. And do this one. I'm going to try and keep it all in this, the, um, oh, that one didn't stick down very well, sure. Um, I'm going to try and keep it all in the screen so you can see what I'm doing. I'm hoping you can see. There we go. That one's stuck. Take that off. And that one just lifts up nice and easy. That one. Then you get... The other long piece is one I prepared earlier. And it's sort of tacky, so it won't won't be sticky sticky, it's just tacky. Enough to hold it down. I'm just pushing down as I go. Just giving a bit of a hand press, so to speak. And then I'll come back with that iron. Now if you notice I'm ironing from the fabric side, there's a reason for that. This stuff will, if with heat, it, it can, has been known to melt or distort. So I tend to go from this side. Just give it a quick once over. Heat up that glue. A bit of a crease there. Okay, that's that. All right, so those are done. Now, if you want to do these, I'll get these ready just so you know how to do them. Um, just press in half, just like that. Then turn those sides in and then back in. It's a bit like a bias binding, so just like that. And once you've got that there, just going to clip that. You could use a bit of tape if you want to hold it down, but it's unnecessary because we're just going to sew it. So I'm going to sew them just so I can show you how to use them. No, oh, sorry, Mich oh, Michelle, you deal. <laughs> I'm doing tags as in loop tags. Sorry, my bad. I'll show you how they work. All right, so you get the width of your bag, and that's your zipper, and take about an inch off. So it's going to be, say there, I'm going to cut it around about here. me doing loops for a, for a D-ring. Um, then basically you get your zipper. If you've already got a pre-made zipper you just trim it down. But I've got little green ones here so I'll use a green one. <clears throat> green one. Open up that end like that. I always look ridiculous when I do this, so bear with me. So put one side in, and when they've got those little doodars on them, that makes it hard to hold. And then I get the other side. I try and dig her in. There we go. Wait, don't go any further. There's a fork method. I've never done the fork method before, but I've been told that works. But I find this just works just as well. And I just hold the sides and pull the zipper. All right, so and then put it in the middle. And then what you would do is you put that in the middle of that, like that, then clip. Just hold that there. Same with this end. Put that in there, halfway, 
and give it a clip and we're going to sew those down just like that and then we'll sew across there and that becomes our tags for the end um, the next one we need to do we need to put we need to get this I'm going to iron the lining just because it's really increased because you know They get creased in the packaging and everything, but that will do, don't care. And then you've got this is your faux leather. You can iron from this side. Don't have your iron too hot, okay? So you want to get a couple of folds or whatever out. Now with this, you've got a glue side and you've got a um, what's the name side? Some some of them will have um, no glue side at all. Can I? So, yeah, I'm going to actually put this up on YouTube as well. Um, <clears throat> so you can you can iron from this side. You don't actually have to iron at all if you don't want to because it's going to take quite a while for that to go through. I actually, I think um, from memory, because if you iron from this side, you're going to melt this, all right? FYI, you're going to melt it. So you, I actually remember, pretty much remember, that I ended up just stitching it in because I've, I've got a feeling that I went, mm, don't know, it just feels a bit scary. You can try and iron from this side but put on, say, you know, something over the top so you don't melt it. But you've got to, got to get that fairly warm for that glue to melt. See, it's starting to heat up the plastic, so I don't really want to, so I'm just going to leave it without. I can feel it sort of heating up. Um, the other option, again, is, of course, use your tape. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to get this. I'm going to pop that along there. just needs to hold it down doesn't need to because once it's sewn in it's sewn in do you know what I mean like there's no um, it doesn't have to be um, to the point of ridiculous so I'm just going to get that and I'm just going to heat that up This end. Okay, those two. And turn that over that way. Yeah. Like I say, it doesn't have to be so stuck that, you know, you can't get it, like it won't move at all. Once it's sewn in, it's sewn in. That's it. End of story. Um, you can put a little bit in the sides. I'll just tear off a little bit. this stuff <laughs> I can't tell you how much I love this tape I think I got about five or six rolls of it at any given sewing point just in case I, I can't find one I've got another one sitting there so that that's done that's ready to go so that can just sit there that's the lining for it so we'll just pop that with it 
Um, we can do the bag fronts. Now this is a little bit different because that's the lining, so I'll just put them there because this is batik, so it will actually sit on this really easily and heat up really easily. So just give it a press. Get the glue side so you can feel it. It's glue side up. Lay it on the top. And it'll take a few minutes for it to heat up. Hi, Diane. Sometimes I reckon that tape works quicker. <laughs> than this. <clears throat> That's one. Put that one down. Actually, I'll give that a quick iron. Be even iron. down, grab that there, just line her up. If you've got a little bit left over on the side there, don't worry, you can just trim that out. That little bit there might be a bit wide, probably because I had a crease in it at some point when I've cut it. Well, you can see it's not quite taken in the center. So any questions, please, I can see the questions today. So if you've got any questions, um, please feel free to ask. Don't sort of feel that you can't ask me just because I'm demoing. That's better. That one there. I'm going to give the lining a quick one once over. More definitely needs it. Wrinkly binkly. These are lines um, I still have in stock. They are only $40 if anyone wants one. Got plenty in stock. Um, I tend to use them dry even though they do take water. Um, I find I don't really need steam most of the time. Um, steam tends to stretch fabric so. Um, that's those two done. All right, <clears throat> now we've got this pocket. The pocket is seven by eight. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, so eight one side, seven the other. What you need to do is cut along here, along the, the seven inch side. So you're going to cut, um, I think it's an inch and a half, if I'm trying to remember. Let me remember. Front pocket. Yeah, one and a half inches down. So you need to have a ruler, the shell and a blade. That'd be good. <clears throat> so it's one and a half inches is there. So cut that off there. Now you've got your top and bottom of your pocket. Perfect. I had enough there from that one that works perfectly. And I've got another green little zipper doodah. A zippity doodah. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. And I'm going to pop that on.
on them. You can do it. Oh. Why could you not do that? Okay. Nice. Um, so that you can go all the way up to the end if you want to. I'm just going to leave it like that for the minute, um, and I'm going to get this tape. And I'm going to place it here along the edge of the zipper. Right there. Turn her over. Do the other side. How much are the kits, please? Lynette, they're $50 each. Love your sound effects. Makes me laugh. Sorry, yes. <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> I make them day in and day out, those things. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm working hard. <laughs> there we go. So I'll show you at the end of this video today what I've got left um, and um, in, in like pre-cuts already done. And... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, and then yeah, we'll we'll go from there. I can always make up the rest. So good morning, G. Okay, so take off one side. Now this one is the side that's going to do up. So that's the top. Okay, now you need to put this right side down, straight on like that, straight on like that. You can always cut that little bit of zipper off at the end and just have that there. So I will cut that zipper off. It's got a bit of a lumpy bit there, but that's okay. Should be right, mate. Get my big kahunas and trim that off. And the other one is going to go on that side. So, that over there. Let's first stitch this down. Now, I've just got the black thread that I had on yesterday. So, <clears throat> because vinyl moves really cruddy underneath the foot, and I don't have a um, Teflon or whatever it is foot, I'm just going to put it that way. And I don't have a what's the name foot or anything. Oh, I forgot to put my stitch length on from yesterday. Um, but I'm just getting close to the actual zipper. And when I get to that little zipper pull, just lift up, move it past what you've already done, place it back down. And this works on your sit down machine exactly the same. And sew that down there. <clears throat> and I've got that one side on, just like that. Okay. Get, trim off our bits. Got to get rid of the bits. So we've got that one on, just fold it like that for now. Take that paper off the other side. Short side, remember? That side. So make sure it's the same width. Don't go using it this way because it's gonna be shorter. So the longer side, now it is, because we've taken that inch and a half off. Lay that on top of your zipper, just like we did before. Or you can turn it over and lay your zipper down on top. Either way, it's going to stick down. That's why I love this tape. It's only eight bucks a reel, and it's the best stuff. And we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to just put a clip there just to hold that seam out of the way.
and I can feel my um, little what's the name's up there so lift come close to it move it out of the way drop back down and I'm making sure that my seam from the other one is out of the way and I go sew on over it <clears throat> and that one's stitched in. Look at that. Perfect. That's that there. See? Now, we're not quite finished with this one. What we now need to do is grab that top bit, and this is where the clips will come in handy again. Grab that top bit, clip that end, fold that seam back towards the pleather. So that side and that side, and we're going to run a stitch down either side because we want that seam to be out of the way when we're sewing, all right? You can sew it that way if you like. You can turn it over and press whatever you like. Um, so I could press it down if I want to, but I'm always frightened with um, any kind of pleather or leather or whatever that it's going to do it. If you feel up to it, you can always put a little bit of this there. That can always help. You can't use pins. You're going to need clips when you're doing anything with pleather or leather or cork. You can't use pins, girls. Put that down like that. You can see it just holds it down a bit. Good job at hand. Just enough for us to be able to sew. seam down now I'm going to be sewing from the top so I'm going to put my stitch up to around about four got that nice and flat there lift up and about one eighth in um, from the edge and just go steady As you get to this baby, move her again out of the way. Can I please grab one? Yeah, sure. Um, I'll show you what ones I've got left at, at the end of today's video. Um, this is part one. I probably won't get it all done today. <clears throat> then we do the second one. And one eighth inch in. Up, move out of the way, pop it down. Yeah, so some of the kits do have the iron on and some have the, the non iron on um, batting in them. Um, I, I put in both, Either it doesn't matter. You can see that's a little bit off, but it's not going to matter because it's going to go under the handles. So, next thing I want to do is sew these ends onto the zipper. So we just clip them on. All I'm going to do is sew a quarter to um, maybe, yeah, about a quarter inch from the edge, a little bit more. <clears throat> just sew across. And go back and forth, give it a bit of a stable. And do it again on this one. <coughs> so that pocket's ready so we can pop that aside do that one next and the handles and <coughs> I'm going to show you this bit a reel of that tape sure I'll go through the the um, orders <coughs> before I finish or after I finish whichever one works best um, but yeah, I will go through those. Absolutely. You won't miss out. So you've got that like that. We've just sewn it facing it. <clears throat> if you've got, um, you put right sides of the fabric facing it. Um, if you're 
sort of wondering if you've got right or wrong side fabric but being batik I get away with not having to care um, so that encases the end of it to make it look a little bit more professional just like that <clears throat> and then all I do is I just snip that there just the length of the zipper <clears throat> don't make it any smaller than the zipper width because you don't want it to come out of the seam <clears throat> put that aside and they're ready to go so that when I get the front of the bag so that's the front of the bag that'll sit in there like that like that bloody beautiful <clears throat> so there you go all right so that's those let's do this pocket inside pocket um, you're going to put it right sides together that little bit there it just wants to be a poop <clears throat> and I want you to just sew from there across to here back stitch leave an opening back stitch there and up That was a big quarter inch, but it should be right. Wait. Wait. Once you've done that, just trim off your corners a bit. Don't cut your stitching. Just be careful on the folded ones. We don't want that to be snipped. Snip off those, get rid of that. And get this bit here, open it out, fold that side down. Just one side is enough. And turn it right side out. This is where I always go. I look really good. What size needle are you using? Um, Louise, this is just a size um, 12, 14. I think it might be 14 actually. So, poke out your corners. I think in my first one I didn't I forgot to put interfacing in this pocket if, if you don't put interfacing on it it's not like um, you know the be all end all um, it just means the pocket might not be as stable as say you know one with a bit of stabilizer in it to hold it firm all right so once you got those in because I already folded one side and pressed it that will now sit just nicely And on a two, and that's our pocket ready to go on the inside. Grab one of your linings from the front and back of the bag, and I sort of did it. I think it was around about. Well, I placed it halfway, but I think I did it about two, two and a half inches maybe down from the top. So just find your halfway mark. <clears throat> find the bottom that was open the one that's open make sure that's facing downwards just so you don't lose it because you don't want that up you want that down just find the center of your pocket you don't want it too high but you don't want it so low that you can't you know can't find the pocket in the bag and um, 
you can pin it here or you could tape it down again. Um, I'm just going to pop a pin in just because it's handy. Just one here and one on the other. Oi, get in. <clears throat> I'm a bit of a close enough is good enough type person as you know so what we're going to do is just sew down here across here and up there make sure your back tack and um, a one eighth of an inch from the edge so really close to the edge on this one I start in from the edge so I'm about I don't know probably half an inch down and then I'm going to go back so that my thread um, my thread stays sort of starts here I don't have any of that tail sitting there so I sort of do a couple of stitches and then back and then forward and I'm doing a rough eighth of an inch I get down to the end lift and turn and this will seal that hole at the same time guys so you don't have to hand stitch that down so what about one eighth so you catch that seam, lift up and turn, take the pin out, take the pin out, make sure your back tack, done. So see how my little thread is down here and not up on that corner? So that sort of keeps it out of the way um, and easier to cut off. So that is my pocket. Dun, dun, dun. Good morning. Hey, everyone. Hi, Louise. <laughs> um, Gidget, g'day, darling. Um, the stabiliser I've got here at the moment is um, I've got a fusible and a non-fusible. You can use, definitely use a, the, the fusible actually is really expensive. It's that bo bosal stuff. It's really bloody expensive. Um, which is the stuff I've got in here um, and I've also got the other bag batting which is perfectly fine to use as well nice and stiff to use for bags so before we go into what I've got left because it's now 1040 um, what I'm going to sh show you is how how I did the bag handles so I basically folded over and sewed down all one side Okay, and then turned it out. Yeah, it turned it out. And to do that, I used the tool that Genevieve had. I'm going to do use this one because I'm reckoning that's got to be easier than the way I did it. So I'm just going to press it in half. Now you are going to be pressing on um, this uh, interfacing, so don't you don't have to press down hard like for a long time. You're just getting it to giving it a bit of a memory of where you want it to be. You can clip it as well if you so desire. You can also use bag batting in it. Very hard to turn it with bag batting. Ask me how I know because I did that. <laughs> Got another bag pattern coming for you using um, jelly rolls. So that one um, will be after probably probably uh, after next year. Just sign that bit down. See how I go if I get time. Um, and you see how it gets a bit stuck. It's too hot. So just work quick with that iron on this stuff. It's not designed to take that heat. It's designed just to be sewn in this one. But this will just give it a bit of a memory. So basically what I'm doing today is prepping this bag ready for the put together thing. So um, you see this bag will take about two hours or so to do all up, maybe two and a half. 
but um, depending on your sewing capabilities and time you, time you allow yourself. So I'm going to give myself um, a good quarter inch, so maybe even more than that, just so I've got a I don't miss any of those seams. Black tack at the start and finish, otherwise you'll come undone. God, I love this machine. Look how fast it is. Am I having fun? Yes, I am. Meow. Excuse me, coming through. Tell you what, if you had to turn these out, like churn them out like a sweatshop, you'd be easy doing it on this machine. Look at that. <laughs> nice! <laughs> I'm doing a jelly roll bag as we speak. Nice! <laughs> Alright. God, I love this machine. Did I mention that I love this machine? Gonzales, andale, andale, yeehaw! <laughs> the only thing that slows this machine down is me, you know that, don't you? <laughs> Look at that. The only thing I need now is for the bobbin to run out. Ta-da! All done. All right. So turning this baby out. Now let's see if I can do this. <laughs> now I've got a feeling there's a way to do this. And I think, do you put it in here? Now Genevieve's going to tell me if I'm doing it wrong. I'm pretty sure you put this through here just like that. Like a big sock. Spread a fruit. Spread a fruit. <laughs> and you catch the end. I'm pretty sure. So you click that in to that little thing and then you go backwards. Am I right? Because she showed me this at the show. There we go. <laughs> Just don't let go of it. <laughs> Jelly roll bags. Yay. Two hours for you. <laughs> May not. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Look at that, G. Do you still have these in stock, girlfriend? Because I'm hoping, because the girls are going to be messaging you very soon. Look at that. You watch. Take this baby off. Do this. How quick was that? <laughs> Let's do it again. All righty. Um, pretty sure. What way did I go? That way? No, that way. So I'll do that way. Got the seam facing up so I can grab onto something. Um, I think you know, I think they were this is it here, thirty dollars. It's called Easy Point Turner. Easy Point Turner, thirty bucks. G's got them. She's the master. So I've only done this once or twice, so that's how easy it is. I just have to remember what steps first so make sure that end bit goes in that little doodah and you can go in there or you can squeeze it from the outside which is easier for me and get the seam and wiggle it like a worm in a hole a worm in a hole wiggle it over grab that seam edge and pull it around just like that just like I bought one really This is my second day, Ella, on mine. Oh, cool. All right, so I've got it right around. Now I can undo that. Grab this. Oops, keep it open. Take it off. Look at that. Done. There you go, G. You're getting some orders, girlfriend. <clears throat> How cool is that? So let's give them a press, and then we'll just, uh, I'll discuss what I've got left in these things and tomorrow we will finish the rest of it. We are almost, almost done on this bag. We've just got to put it together. 
so easy peasy. All right, let's get that like that. Actually, I might put that seam in the center like that. There we go. There we go. Nice. <clears throat> hey, straps on dresses. Yes. Uh, thanks, sister. <laughs> It's so easy, honestly. It is the easiest thing to turning. I mean, how easy was that? I mean, you saw I did it just as there was no practicing beforehand. I just did it because I, I haven't used it since I bought it at the show. And I thought, oh, yeah, I've got that tool. I actually happened to see it. And I went, oh, yeah, beauty. I can do that with that tool. And um, so I grabbed it out and I thought, oh, should be right, I won't need to practice that <laughs> before I do a whole live. Because you know what I'm like, right? So it's just, you know, all ad-lib. So here I am doing it live and I hadn't practiced. So there you go. So it does work. So there's one strap. Let's give a quick press on that side. Press on that side. So that shows you it is definitely easy as it seems. There you go, there's one. Look at that. And that's it. Looks like um, something you'd go to a gyno for, doesn't it? Alright. <clears throat> Actually, I think if my gyno came at me with that, I'd run. <laughs> Just put that out there. Should I put that on YouTube? <laughs> Too bad it's going on YouTube. Too bad. Sorry, YouTube world. Alright, so... Get that seam in the center. Work for Mama. I mean, I love my four dollar fifty tool, but by geez, I tell you what, that thirty dollar tool makes light of hard work, doesn't it? <clears throat> so, for those who are going to be watching this later on YouTube, um, the tool is available at Kadena Craft and Sewing Centre. You can Google search them up and find them and contact them on Facebook and they will organise to post one out to you. It is called Easy Point Turner. That's it there. Oh no, Maya, it's definitely out there. Well, you know what I'm like. <laughs> Say it as it is, may I just say it as it is. All right. That's that one. Okay. That's that. So that is all ready, almost ready to go put, put together. How cool is that? So let me turn this around, and I'm looking up like me. So I really need to pop you on the other stand, but I can't do that. So let's just move this thing right down here. <laughs> that's probably my um, main fault is my honesty oh I'm still a little bit down there aren't I there we go oh yeah let's move this you can see all my packages in the back behind me um, okay I feel like I'm sitting like a pimple on a pumpkin so that is the easy turn point and turner easy point and turner uh, that is the first part of this now just quickly while I've got your attention undivided of course um, I have a red pack at 50 so red because the you know that's the red I have an aqua pack with the blue aqua and these are 50 I have one of the green and it's the green and brown same as what I'm using and I have one in a blue and black it's got black pleather pleather 
<laughs> and I have one in um, multi colours. So it's a multi. And I have two in a really gorgeous, gorgeous um, yellows and tans. Really nice. So if you'd like those, let me know. I will go through those messages as well just to see who wants what. Um, one roll of tape, blue and black. Okay, so the blue and black one, that one. No, this one, that one. Um, and the tape I can write down, so I'll pop your name on that, Lynette. Um, and uh, we will see you guys soon, 12 o'clock, um, I think in about an hour, I think we're doing a blue and black. I can make another one, Deb Turnbull. If you want another one like this, I can do that, I think. Make sure, if I haven't got the exact same fabric, it'll be the same colorway. So, I'll, um, I'll um, send you a pic of the fabric. I'm pretty sure I've got some more. I can't see it from looking. Anywho, just check and look around. Yes, please, okay. Um, I'll see you guys in about an hour literally an hour and we're doing a live um live sale i've got some stuff to show you still still please still <laughs> when will it ever end look i've got my dishes in the background here i'll put me a dear like this does that look good <laughs> we'll see you guys soon